guys, Coffee here for HSNG.com. Uh, this video is just a quick setup guide for the Coffee Spins HUD. Uh, if you're interested in more information about the HUD, a guide to all the statistics, uh, and uh, the philosophy of the HUD, uh, watch the uh, other video. But this is just for people who have purchased the HUD, how to quickly set it up so that it works properly. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the custom font file from HSNG.com. And once you've downloaded it, all you need to do is drag and drop it into your fonts folder and it'll automatically install. Um, the fonts folder is in the control panel. You can see an appearance of personalization. That's really easy to find. It's, it's very easy to install fonts. So just drag and drop it in this folder. You're all done. Um, once you've done that, uh, just start up PT4 and it'll have it incorporated. Um, so you will not have access to your HUD as soon as you purchased it. So if you just purchased it and you you know you want to start using it right away, sorry, you have to wait a little bit. Um, it's a manual activation process that takes 24 to 48 hours. So please uh, make sure to wait for that period before you uh, email saying you know your HUD doesn't work. Um, you do have to wait for that, um, and then once you're activated, you'll just be able to start up PT4. It'll automatically download and be installed. Um, other than this font, which you have to manually do. Once you do have the HUD installed, uh, you're going to want to go into HUD options to properly set it up and um, to be able to set it as your default for tables. So you go to HUD options and then make sure uh, you might be in profile select mode. Make sure to go over to general settings and then once in general settings, make sure to have general selected here. And what you want is in this panel here, you want this. You want min 2 max 2 and min 3 max 3. Uh, for number of players filtered. And you can just really easily just add min 2, max 2, add min 3, max 3. Um, you can have other filters on top of this, but you need to have these for the HUD to properly work. Um, otherwise, what can happen is that uh, stats will bleed between three-handed and two-handed. So you have some situations that are in both spots uh, where you'll get uh, the stats coming in uh, and we'll make a mistake. So by having these filters, you will have heads up stats are only heads up, three handed hands are stats are only three handed. They only count three handed spots or two handed spots. Uh, everything works cleanly once you have this set. So it's very very important. Once you do have this set, uh, just go ahead and go to profile select mode. Uh, make sure you're in tournament, not cash. If you can't find it, make sure you're in tournament. It's a tournament uh, HUD. And then you can see this lets you set up your filters for what, uh, where you want this profile to work. So you can pick the site, the game type, the limit, seats, uh, and then just pick your HUD from here, Coffee Spins uh, HUD or Coffee Spins Max. And that's it. Um, this uh, process installs both Coffee Spins, Coffee Spins Max. All you can do is make sure the font's set up and make sure that you've got these uh, filters set up 2233 and you're all set to go. Once you've got all this set up, you're able to start uh, setting up your HUD. Uh, I do recommend you load up either play chip games or uh, low stakes games so that you can move the HUD groupings, you know, the, all the different panels to where you want them. Uh, take a look at the screenshots provided for, for, different, uh, for an orientation uh, suggestion for how to put them. But there's a lot of ways, there's a lot of uh, panels so you can rearrange them a little bit to personal preferences. Uh, but take some time to do that. Uh, and one quick little tip, uh, in case you didn't know, to move panels around in PT4, you can either unlock them by clicking on the little PT4 logo. It looks like this. It'll be usually in the middle of the table, the top, uh, top middle bar. Um, and you can unlock and then move them around by just clicking and dragging. Or you can at any time move around um, the panels without having to unlock them just by holding down control on your keyboard and then left click dragging normally. Uh, and that will move the panels around. Um, it won't save it, so after you move them, make sure to go into that middle panel and save the HUD. Uh, but it's useful to know that you, know, you can quickly move them. You don't need to unlock it. You can control drag when needed. Uh, and then you know, set up your HUD, uh, and uh, you know, uh, there's a guide video that I made. So uh, take a look at that, and uh, good luck. Cheers, everyone.